I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. He honore he karore ki te atua, he maunga rongo ki te whenua, he whakaro pai ki ngā tangata katoa. Honour and glory to God, peace on earth, goodwill to all people. Ti hei i mauri ora, behold the breath of life. Ko tō mātou whare tapu te whare karakia o hata paura tēnā koe. To our church, St. Paul's Cathedral, greetings. Ko rangi nui ki runga, ko papa tūnu ku ku rāro, me hinga taonga tū ku iho, ki wanga nui a rātou, tēnā koutou. To Ranginui, the Sky Father, and Papa Nui, the Earth Mother, and all the treasures within, greetings. Inga mate, i ronga, i o tate marae. Haere koutou, haere koutou, haere koutou. We acknowledge all those who have gone before. Ete kuini i rahapiti, haere, haere, haere. 
Hairekito Matua Iterangi. We acknowledge the late Queen Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen of New Zealand, her other realms and territories, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith. Te hungo ora tēnā koutou. Kei te tua hau ki te mihi whakatau ki a koutou ki te reo o ngā runanga o ngaitahu o tēne rohe, ko o tākou, ko huirapa, ko moiraki. I stand to greet you today with the voice of the Ngaitahu people of this place, the people of Otako, Huirapa and Moiraki. Whakatau mai, whakatau mai, whakatau mai rā. Welcome to you all. I ngā pīhopa, ko pīhopa Michael Dooley, ko <coughs> pīhopa Stephen Benford, tēnā kōrua. I ngā minata, <coughs> Reverend Dr. <coughs> uh, 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 Tony Curtis, the, re <coughs> the Reverend Ed Masters, tēnā kōrua. I ngā rangatira o Otiputi, your Worship the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor, tēnā kōrua. The Chief Executive of the City Council, tēnā koe. Tēnā hoki kōrua ki ngā mema o Parimata, the Honourable uh, David Clark MP, me um, Ingrid Leary MP, uh, greetings. Ingrid mema o te kaunihera o te whariwānanga o Okago and members of the University Council, uh, tēnā koutou. Representatives of Selwyn College, Te Maru Pumanawa, tēnā hoki koutou. And to the members of, of Her Late Majesty's Armed Forces and Veterans, RSA, uh, tēnā koutou katoa. I ngā iwi o ngā hau e whāko e huuhuhu mai nei i tēnei rā. E paua mā, e taua mā, e ngā whānau whānau katoa me ngā tamareke hoki, tēnā koutou. And to you all, the people of us who have gathered here today, warm Pacific greetings. It is only fitting then that we, on the other side of the world to Windsor Castle, should gather here in this beloved cathedral to honour and remember our late and beloved Queen. An appropriate whakatauki of proverbial saying could be, Ka mate te kainga matahi, ka ora te kainga rua, which translates as, when one house dies, a second lives, which is a way of saying, the Queen is dead, long live the King. Nō reira, inga mana, inga reo, rauranga tēra mā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora tātou katoa. Kia ora.
We meet this day to remember before God our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, to renew our trust and confidence in Christ, and to pray that together we may be one in him, through whom we offer our prayers and praises to the Lord our Matra. Would you please be seated? Blessed are you, Lord our God, lover of souls. You uphold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise forever. For the darkness of this age is passing away as Christ the bright and morning star brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom your faithful servant Elizabeth, that death may be for her the gate to life and to unending fellowship with you, where with your saints you live and reign, one in the perfect union of love, now and forever. Amen. Amen. There is in her a spirit that is intelligent, holy, unique, manifold, subtle, mobile, clear, unpolluted, distinct, invulnerable, loving the good, keen, irresistible, beneficent, humane, steadfast, sure, free from anxiety, all-powerful, overseeing all, and penetrating through all spirits that are intelligent, pure, and altogether subtle. For wisdom is more mobile than any motion. Because of her pureness, she pervades and penetrates all things. For she is a breath of the power of God and a pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her for she is a reflection of eternal light, a spotless mirror of the working of God and an image of his goodness. Although she is but one, she can do all things, and while remaining in herself, she renews all things. In every generation, she passes into holy souls and makes them friends of God and prophets. For God loves nothing so much as the person who lives with wisdom. She is more beautiful than the sun and excels every constellation of the stars. Compared with the light, she is found to be superior, for it is succeeded by the night. But against wisdom, evil does not prevail. She reaches mightily from one end of the earth to the other, and she orders all things well.
I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. God will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Please be seated.
What a heavy burden it is to bear a crown. In the case of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth, this was true in both senses. The crown itself was a weight that few could bear unaided. And the weight, too, of her office is something that is, I believe, impossible to bear without placing the whole of one's trust in the true ruler of all. This, of course, is something that Her Late Majesty did throughout her entire life. She was a seeker after wisdom, knowing, as we heard in our first reading, that wisdom is more precious than anything that we can possibly gather up. All our treasure, our jewels, are worth nothing compared to the riches and wonders of wisdom. And so it was that Her Late Majesty set off on a journey so long ago when becoming heir to the throne, she promised that her whole life, whether it be short or long, would be dedicated to the imperial family that became and evolved into, under her reign, our Commonwealth family of nations. This was a lifelong commitment that few of us ever have to make, though those of us perhaps sitting up this end may know something of the weight of making a lifelong promise to God to try and follow surely in Christ's footsteps, even though we know that we will all stumble from time to time. And yet we hope that we will grow in wisdom. Over her 70 years of service as sovereign, her late majesty sought wisdom everywhere that she could. She was voracious in devouring knowledge and understanding. She wanted to understand at a personal level the journey that people had walked. And she wanted to understand at a global level how she could follow in Christ's footsteps, how she could stand as tetaroi o teriri in between parties who would be minded to tear each other apart and instead be one who could bring peace through the understanding and the wisdom that she could find among such diverse varied cultures, languages, and faiths that made up the Commonwealth and God's world in which we live. It is only by doing so that she could bear the weight of her office and bear in mind that the orb that she held with its cross atop demonstrated that there was one far greater than any king or queen whom she and all her people served, and in whom she hoped to serve every one of us. It is on this lifelong journey of wisdom that we too are called towards that vision of the heavenly Jerusalem, that vision that we heard in the revelation of St. John, of a day when all of our quarrels our fears, our sorrows, the darkness with which sometimes we are overwhelmed will be no more. And we will take all of our burdens as Her Late Majesty has and lay them at the altar of God, there to be taken away as instead, without our prejudice, without our hatred, without our fears, without our tears, we may cross and find the water of life, that sparkling water which bubbles up from the throne of God, the ultimate journey of every Christian life, to be transformed in his presence, 
to be transformed into his likeness and to know once and for all that God is love, for which we give thanks this and every day with her late majesty and all of the saints who have gone before us to our risen, ascended, and glorified Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.
merciful Father and Lord of all life, we praise you that we are made in your image and reflect your truth and light. We thank you for the life of our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, for the love she received from you and showed among us. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed, that we shall rise again at the coming of Christ. And we ask that in due time we may share with your servant Elizabeth that clearer vision promised to us in the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks for Queen Elizabeth's commitment to the Commonwealth throughout her reign, for her service and dedication to its people, and for the rich bonds of unity and mutual support she sustained. Almighty and everlasting God, hear our prayer for the Commonwealth and grant it the guidance of your wisdom. Inspire those in authority that they may promote justice and the common good. Give to all its citizens the spirit of mutual honour and respect and grant to us all grace to strive for the establishment of righteousness and peace for the honour of your name. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, our Maker and Redeemer, grant us with your servant, Queen Elizabeth, and all the faithful departed, the sure benefits of your Son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day, when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech you to bless our most gracious, gracious sovereign Lord, King Charles, Camilla, the Queen Consort, William, Prince of Wales, the Princess of Wales, and all the royal family. Endue them with your Holy Spirit. Enrich them with your heavenly grace. Prosper them with all happiness. And bring them to your everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God. There shall no torment touch them. You, Lord, have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord.
Would you please stand if you're able? Into your hands, O Martyr and Lord, we commend your servant, our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth. Enlighten her with your holy grace and suffer her never to be separated from you, O Lord in Trinity, God everlasting. Amen. God save the King.
grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the king, the commonwealth and all humanity, peace and concord. And to us, and to all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, come upon you, embrace you and stay with you today and always. Amen. Amen. Amen.